Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass algebra. In this video we're going to go over factor by grouping problems. So this is used to factor quadratics where a is greater than 1 and for polynomials with four terms. So we're going to go over an example of each and then there'll be practice questions at the end that you can try on your own. So first just to go over what factor by grouping is. It is a factoring method that groups common factors of an algebraic expression together and in doing so we can factor and then find the x values which is pretty cool. It, it looks like it's magic so I hope you like it. So let's just dive right into examples so you can see it in action. We have 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just start out doing product sum like we would any other quadratic equation. And notice we have a is greater than 1 here. So we have our product is equal to a times c, which is 2 times 10, which is 20. Our sum is equal to 9. And now we just want to find two numbers that multiply to 20 and add to 9. So we know we're going to have two factors that are positive. So right away I could see that 4 and 5 are going to be our factors because 4 times 5 is 20 and 4 plus 5 is 9. So these are the factors we're going to be working with. So what that means, what we're going to do with these, is we're going to rewrite our equation. So this was like step one, we got our factors, and now step two, we're going to rewrite our equation. So we have 2x squared, we're keeping that the same. But now we're going to rewrite this term, 9x, using our new factors. So 9x is now going to become plus 4x plus 5x plus, and then 10 is going to stay the same as well. So notice we re rewrote them, we just did this step, but notice that this is equal to this. So that's why we know that we can do it this way. We know that 4x plus 5 is, is, is equal to 9x. So, so we didn't break any rules, we're just kind of manipulating the problem. So now that we could take the factors of it. So up next, we are going to kind of take the GCF we're going to split this in two halves. So we're going to look at this first half and then we're going to look at the second first half. So we're splitting it in two and we're going to take the GCF of each little section. So the GCF over here, so let's just use different colors. So for here we'll have green. So the GCF over here, we can take out 2x and then we're left with x plus 2. And then on this side, take the GCF and we have plus five. We can take a five out X plus two. Notice that we have a factor of X plus two here in this problem. So we have an X plus two here and an X plus two here. So now we're, we're at the point where we're just gonna solve this problem. We're gonna factor it. And we have, we're gonna do that by taking the common factor, which is X plus two. And then we're going to combine the other two terms. Over here we have two left over, we have 2x and plus 5, so we're just going to combine those 2x plus 5. And that's our answer. So we just factored 2x squared plus 9x plus 10 to x plus 2 times 2x plus 5. So let's say you don't trust yourself and you're not sure if you're doing this right. So the best way to deal with that is to just um, expand this and distribute it on the side here. So to just to check our answer, we can use FOIL and make sure that this comes out to the original. So let's just do that quickly. So notice we get our original quadratic equation, 2x squared plus 9x plus 10, after we distribute our answer and we know that we are right. For our next question, we have example number two. This time we have a polynomial with four terms. So that's, we have 2x cubed plus x squared plus 8x plus 4. So this time, so this might like look a little more difficult, but actually this is easier because we can skip that whole product sum step and just start splitting this into two halves. So we can split this into two halves and just start taking the GCF. So the GCF of this section is x squared. And when we do that, we're left with 2x plus 1. And then the GCF of the next section here, we could take out a 4. And we're left with 2x plus 1. So again, notice we have these common factors here. We have a 2x plus 1 and another 2x plus 1. So we know that's going to be a part of our answer. That's a common factor. And then left over, we have 
x squared plus 4. So we're just going to add that on. So x squared plus 4. So that's our answer. And to check our answer real quickly, let's just do that on the side here. To check, remember, we're just going to want to distribute or FOIL or use the box method, whatever you prefer. So just putting them in order, and yes, this checks out. 2x cubed, x squared, 8x, and 4. So we have our answer. If you're looking for more, check out the practice questions right here. The answers are up on the blog, mathsucks.org, and in the description below. And if this video helped you and you're looking to make math suck just a little bit less, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by, and happy calculating! Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!